All right, so anyway, like we were saying, we have a ton of really cool ideas for the show we pitched for the next year. Yeah, and we would love to have you on our crew. Well, I don't know. I've never been on a TV crew before. It's not hard. Just show up when you need to show up and you get credit. Yeah, I don't think Rashid and I ever got any work done. Now, Mike, that's a lie. At least one of us has gotten work done. Yeah, I don't think Rashid ever got any work done. You know what, Mike? One of these days, we're going to be having a conversation on a set of stairs, and you're going to trip and fall. And instead of going to help you up, I'm just going to turn around and look at you with a dumb, smug look on my face. That was really dark and really specific. Well, the world is dark and specific. Get used to it. I'm sorry. Where is this conversation going? Oh, our bad. We get sidetracked very easily. One minute we'll be focusing on the task at hand, and the next second someone will say something and send us into a five or six page off-topic argument. Ah, a five or six what? A five or six minute off-topic argument. Could you imagine if something went wrong at the beginning of this year, setting us back until the very last minute, forcing us to turn in all our work last minute before the deadline? Yeah, that sounds like us. <laughs> <laughs> uh. You two are strange. Are all the people going to be like this? Hmm. Doubt it. Anyway, we don't know what we'd need you for yet, but you seem like a hard worker and we'd love to have you on the crew if you're interested. Absolutely! I've never been a part of a crew or a team before. This is a dream come true! Great. We'll run it by our producer and see what he thinks. He's the one in charge. You mean, that isn't one of you two? That was the impression I was getting. Oh, no. We're just on the crew. Our plan is to be on-camera talent. I do have a lot of ideas, though, that I hope get put into whatever show we make. So, uh, what do I do now? Now you just gotta wait for our producer to get a hold of you. Yep. All right, he should get a hold of you soon. If he doesn't, one of us will. I'm giving you his number anyway. It's a six. There you go. All right, good? That, yeah. That, okay. All right, it's a bunch of sixes. Um, his name's Zach. He's a pretty hard worker. You know, dedicated. Thanks. So, uh, is this the meeting? Yeah, we're gonna go meet up with someone else from our crew. Her name's Andalee. Well, it was nice meeting you. <sighs> Thanks, cameraman John. Andalee. Hmm. Strange name. Anyway, Rashid, tell me some of those ideas. Yeah. Oh, well, you know, I've, I've got a ton, but I mostly just wanted to do something new, you know? What about a sketch comedy show? No, I think that's been done before. Hmm. You're right. What about a talk show? I don't know, I don't think anybody watched like a late night comedy talk show. That doesn't seem like it's got any appeal. They say waiting is hard. Well, I say that because waiting is fucking hard. You know what else is hard? Accepting that you've been forgotten about. Having to accept that you could have been a part of something bigger, but you are just too small. Oh, hi, uh, is this Zach? One of the TV producers over at the... Oh, you quit? Okay, well, I was supposed to be on your crew. No, no, I understand. I'm, I'm sure I'll get a call from him soon. Okay. I never got that call. I was alone. And then one day they showed up. They appeared to help me cope with my loneliness. But eventually, I found a different use for my new friends. I would find their crew, Mike and Rashid, and send my friends in to gain their trust. They wouldn't recognize my friends, and my friends wouldn't recognize them. Andalee is dead. Keith is dead. Fun News is dead. I have my own crew now. Welcome back to Serious News. My name is Josh. Police are still on the lookout for Cassadia after the tragic events that occurred within the Fun News set two weeks ago. Fun News, of course, being the awesome show that doesn't exist anymore. 
Josh, just follow the script and don't read the sentence on the prompter. Anyways, on the next serious news, we have an in-depth five-part story on the school's librarian. Okay guys, cut, that's a wrap. Uh, that's it for today, so you guys are free to go home. Hey, by the way, do you even know my name? Uh, of course I do, you're, you're a camera guy. Things seem to have really fallen apart since we changed the show format. This show just isn't the same anymore. Maybe I'm being overdramatic, but this is the worst thing to ever happen to me and I wish everyone was dead. And by falling apart, I mean this shirt. Can you imagine anything having more dangling plot threads? I mean, shirt threads? Yeah, that was pretty overdramatic. Mike, this is awful. Serious News is the worst show I've ever worked on. How many shows have you worked on? This one and Fun News. So it's still the second best show you've ever worked on. Yes. Wait, no. Don't turn this around on me. We need to bring Fun News back. You're just now seeing that? Cassadia gave her speech two weeks ago about how she's been playing us all year and Serious News was meant to fail. And you're just now realizing that. Hey now, I've given it some thought. You're the worst producer I've ever worked with. Again, I'm the only producer you've worked for, so technically I'm the best. Stop messing with my head! Even if I wanted to bring back fun news, Cassadia deleted all the fun news stuff when she was creating the serious news intro. So we'd have to remake everything. Well, that doesn't sound hard. Who made it last time? Sparrowhawk did, and I have no idea where he is. So there's nothing we can do? I guess not. Who are you, and why do you keep showing up everywhere I am? Me. I'm... I'm the... <laughs> Sorry about that, I have a... a cold, that's it. <laughs> anyway, I'm the alien person, bro. Yeah, I can see that. You're the only one who can see this, bro. I'm all in your head. Where are we? Your brain, hombre. You were asleep in your office right now. I just said that I'm all in your head. I thought that was a dead giveaway, man. You're not very quick, Mikey Mike. Why do I keep seeing you everywhere? Like, why are you always around since I started producing? Again, with the questions, fine. I'm what happens when someone gets put in charge. I'm the manifestation of going power hungry. I am a symbol. And you, sir, have been seeing me because I know you wouldn't be able to handle being in charge. I can handle it. I was doing fine until Cassadia showed up and ruined everything. Wrong again, man. Cassadia was only trying to get even for how you wronged her in the past. If you would have remembered her, it would have been avoided. But what were you worried about? Being a good producer and making a good show. You could have prevented this, broski. She said something about how I should remember her. Who is she? The day you and Rashid found out that the former television studio was under construction and you had to start from scratch with ideas, you had a meeting with a prospective member of your crew. But one short film, a producer switch, and a trip to rehab, break up, and reunion tour later, you had all forgotten about her. Oh, I remember that. How could I forget that distinctly annoying voice? That was her? I don't know, that's what the beginning of the episode told me. What? Nothing. You know this isn't the first time I visited your crew, right? I don't want to be mean anymore. They're not doing anything wrong. Did we just go into a flashback while in a dream? Yeah, quick, that's a good one. Yeah, it's kind of my thing. Why are you telling me all this? I don't know, you're the one that passed out. Well, you're wrong. I'm not power hungry. I can save fun news. I'm gonna get everyone back and prove you wrong. Okay, I'm just gonna chill here either way. Fine. Can you show me the way out of here? 
There isn't one. You gotta, like, wait until you wake up. Well, then how do I wake up, then? You don't. It'll just, like, happen naturally, bro. Oh. So, like, you have any eye drops? No. Hey, Josh, I swear I was gonna put it back. What did you take? I took his clipboard. Well, we're gonna remake fun news. Really? That's great. But what about serious news? People don't want serious news, remember? How are we gonna do that? You said all the fun news stuff was deleted. We just need to have new intro and new graphics made. Easy. But didn't you say Sparrowhawk made everything? Yeah, I didn't think he was good at that. Good at doing graphics? No, good at doing anything. Where do you think he is? I don't know. I haven't seen him since I kicked him out and told him to disappear forever. Well, he shouldn't be that hard to find then. I don't even know where we should start looking though. Hmm. I think I might know where to start. Conquer Sweden, we're gonna go find TV crews on the East Coast. Uh, any, any objections? Is no one questioning this? What do you mean? I mean, this whole going evil thing? What did I tell you about questioning me? Nothing, because everything you say is phrased as a question. Is this a mutiny? There you go again. Yeah! Which one's right? They all look the same. Might I remind you who was here first? This is who I was before the three of you came along. Do you think we wanted to destroy that crew? Case didn't do anything wrong. He overheard our plans. He had to be taken out. Those were your plans, not ours. We didn't want to ruin the show. I think it would have been fun to work on. But everyone seems so nice, except for Mike. He got kind of mean. I, uh, I think Josh was hiding something. You weren't there when they forgot about me. No, we weren't, but regardless, that is why we're here. You need us. I don't need anybody. That's a lie. You were a mess before we showed up. Yeah, you were crazy before we started talking to you. But you weren't a bad person. You don't know what kind of person I am. You're just the voice in my head. <sighs> that sounds like evil talk to me. The problem with being a former superhero is the easiest way to break into crime fighting is to sell your house and your possessions to get money for equipment. And I left everything else in my nest, which I didn't get a chance to grab from before I left. <sighs> it's an all new low for Sparrowhawk. <whistles> See, even the bird is sad. Sparrowhawk, we found you. Uh, 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 calm down, calm down. How did you guys? I mean, I am not Sparrowhawk, I'm merely a homeless man. You're still wearing your mask. Well, that's to hide my secret identity, because I am Sparrowhawk! <laughs> I have really got to get better about that. I think subtlety went through the window on this one. No, it was definitely Sparrowhawk that went through the window. Remember when he had amnesia? Yes, Josh, I remember the amnesia. Seriously, how did you guys find me? I thought I hid myself pretty well. We just followed the trail of birdseed from the studio, and it led us here. Oh, yeah. Every time I go to the store to get food, uh, they think Sparrowhawk means I'm talking about my pets, but I'm not. Why do you keep eating it then? Because I like their taste. So what? You're better at solving murders than me. You're a better detective than me now. Did you just come here to brag, Mike? Of course not. Then what? Come here to tell me how great the show is doing now that I'm gone, huh? Well, actually... Serious news sucks. We need fun news back, and that means we need you back. That basically sums up what I was going to say. Look who's come crawling back. I thought you didn't want me around anymore since I didn't have a robot. Oh, Keith. Look, Sparrowhawk, I'm sorry about Keith, but... What did they do, Mike? After I left. After I left, what did they do with his body, Mike? Well, they, they took him and... They, they recycled him and turned him into scrap metal. Recycled?! My best friend! And you let them take him and, and turn him into, into cans, Mike?! How could you let them do that, Mike? He was your friend, too. Look, Sparrowhawk, Keith was a valuable crew member, and I'm sure he's the last person that would want this show to fail. 
Mike, don't insult his memory like that, okay? He's not a person, he's a robot. Okay, he's a robot. Seriously, Sparrowhawk, we need you. Without you, we'll probably all fail. Deja vu. Why should I care? It doesn't affect me at all if you guys can't make a show. But we need your help. No. Me being on that crew got Keith killed. He died because I was on that crew. Well, technically he died because Cassadia ripped out all his wires and he kind of turned evil. That's not the point. It happened on the crew. Seriously, Sparrowhawk, you can help us save fun news. Are you really gonna turn your back on something that needs saving? Would Keith want that? You know what, Josh? You might be right. I'll do this for Keith! Sparrow motivation! How did you change so quickly? A true superhero never changes and tells. You were probably just wearing that under your clothes, weren't you? Is nothing sacred to you, Mike? So, are we going back to the studio? Yes, we are going to save fun news for Keith and no other reason. Let's go! Okay. You shouldn't be in charge anymore. Two people have died because of you. This needs to stop. Yeah, she's right. Cassadia should be in charge. Cassadia for president. Yeah. You can't take over. I was here first. Face it, you're outnumbered. You do feel guilty for what you did. It was wrong. You were wrong. I did it! I won! She's gone! Hey guys, we did it! I have to go to the studio. With any luck, everyone's there. Excuses. You've been trying to ruin this show the entire year. I remember who you are now. I don't care if I did forget who you are. You had no business trying to ruin fun news. Or killing Keith. Or break my heart. But I didn't do that. Really? Then who did? You weren't letting me finish my sentence. I'm trying to tell you that I'm- Guys, gonna... I'll handle this. I'm not gonna fight you, Sparrowhawk. You're right, Cassadia. It's not gonna be a fight. Ha! That rhymed. Sparrowhawk, do you even know how to fight? Not exactly, but I'm a great verbal fighter. What does that even mean? It means this, punch, punch, kick! Dodge, dodge, no, of you were listening to me. She's clearly been to a vocal trainer before. She's pretty good. Punch, left hook, right hook! My evil side took singing lessons. So you finally admit you're an evil person. No, that's not what I meant. Have you ever seen a superhero fight up close? It's amazing. I would have started cheering, but I've never hit a person in my life. I didn't even know people could fight orally. Ew. Punch, roundhouse, slap! Dip, dang, duck, swerve, punch, punch! <laughs> that sounded like it really hurt. I need you all to listen to me. Punch, punch, kick, punch! <laughs> She's going too fast for me to dodge. Go to plan B. I don't even know where the closest pharmacy is. What's plan B? No, call the cops! I got it. Uh, punch, punch, kick! Up, up, down, down, left, right! Hello? Not one one. We need your help. Guys, I'm losing! Sparrowhawk, you can't even fight well? Hey look, I came back to help you, alright? Now is not Surprise! the time. Surprise! Back to light kicker! Uh, damn it, Mike, see? Why'd you distract me? Me? Don't turn this on me. You're the one who should have stretched out your vocal cords. Okay. Now that I have your attention, what I've been trying to tell you is that I'm... One call? Oh, for f sake! What seems to be the problem? Well, you see, officers, it's all a big misunderstanding. I was simply trying She's been to... trying to destroy our crew all semester. Is this true? Well, I mean... And she killed our friend Andaly. Well, yes, but... And she killed my robot friend Keith. I'm not even gonna try and talk anymore. Well, it looks like we've got one count of corporate espionage. One count of murder, and one count of destruction of property. Oh, poor Keith. I think we have enough information here. You're going to jail for a long time. What? Just like that? You're not going to get every side of the story? You're just going to 
overreact and not provide a fair chance for me? Ma'am, I am an American police officer. How dare you say I should be fair to everyone and not act without knowing everything? Get her out of here. I don't know how you rational people live with yourself. This isn't fair! I was just trying to tell you that I'm not evil! I'm good again! This is not how I'm going out! I am probably back! We did it! She's gone! I'm surprised we made it out of there. I mean, I almost died. Well, let's not get crazy. You know, it looks like my work here is done. So, Mike, what's next for fun news? Mike. Mike Meir? Yeah, that's, that's me. We've been looking for you for months. You're under arrest. What? Weeks of unpaid rehab and therapy bills last year, attempted theft of a student's ID also last year, and possession of generic cola. I don't have any generic cola. Then go get me your bag and show me. Fine. See? I swear, those aren't mine. The alien man did that. Wait, no, that, that sounds really crazy. No, stop, please. You don't know crazy. I served two tours in the PGA. Now that's crazy. Take him away, boys. Oh yeah. I'm gonna take you away, boy. Hope you got a damn good confession for the judge. It's a work in progress. <sighs> wow, that was... That was really out of left field, huh? Yeah, so what now? I don't know, Josh. Thinking of maybe hanging up the hawk for good. No more Sparrowhawk? I just don't think it's the life for me. I mean, I was not a good man before, and now I'm trying to be the symbol of justice. Who'd have seen that coming? You know, Sparrowhawk, who sees anything coming? Good and evil, both are needed for either to exist. Just look at Mike and Cassadia. They weren't much different. They both had different ways of achieving their goals, but they both ended up in the same place. It really makes you wonder why anyone would bother labeling themselves as good or bad anyway. Wow, Josh, that was... that was uncharacteristically deep. I just thought I should share my thoughts at the end. The end of what? And that'll about do it for the report from The Real Fun News. I'm Josh Visser. Back to you, Rasheed. And that concludes our 10-week undercover story by field reporter Josh, entitled Mike's Crying Corner, Rise and Fall, chronicling the events of Mike Mears' life after he left the show crew that I was on with him at the end of last year. The story also covered the former vigilante Sparrowhawk, as well as the death of former producer Andalee Powers. We have with us in the studio Josh himself to tell you a bit about how he accomplished his 10-week story into the mind of Mike Mears. Josh? Well, Rashid. The start, I told them a lie about how I'm shy unless I'm in front of a camera, so they wouldn't question the cameras everywhere. And to keep their trust, I gave them an idea for a show, Fun News, which is, of course, this show. Of course. Well, it's lucky none of them watched it. Now tell us, was there actually an alien person following Mike around that whole time? Of course not. I added that in afterwards to add further insight into how Mike's psyche slowly weakened. Well, it certainly sounds like a lot of fun. Oh, tons of fun. Well, that'll do it for coverage of that story. Coming up after the break, a local comedy producer has no idea how to end the second season of his show. Eviscerator.